two years ago, I did a video review on the Inner Pet Adventure and I sung lyrical about it. I thought it was an absolutely amazing stroller. It had, you know, great features, comfy ride and everything like that. But you may be shocked to know that in two and a half years, I've had two of these because they have literally not stood up to their title of all-terrain use. The first stroller, I had to retire after about 18 months because the wheel kept locking. The little swivel thing had broken off and it kept locking in a, um, a fixed position so it made it impossible to manoeuvre in woodland and things like that and I put it down to one of those things and I bought the replacement. Now when I actually got the replacement I actually had the old one and the replacement side by side I thought hmm, it didn't feel quite as good and I should have sort of thought that was a bit of a warning. So in the first six months of use the back panel here split Inner Pet kindly sent me a replacement panel, but guess what? Look at that. Six months further use, also split. Material is supposed to be guaranteed for a year. Now, I've not done anything different with this stroller. I've got the same dogs in the stroller, and um, it's just not stood up. Now, the other thing I want to show you with this stroller is, can you see the baseboard here? It's split. It's actually made of just like a thickened card, but it's actually broken, and the base has Lit, making it very very uncomfortable in there for my dogs and um, needing, I've been needing to pack it in there. Now that baseboard actually costs um, £70 but you know I'm quite sure I could actually fix that myself for far less. But the main thing that's causing me a problem with this stroller and means I can't actually use it is the fact that the bracket under here has buckled and so when you're actually using the stroller and you're going forward it is catching the wheel is catching on that bar underneath now i have put in a claim to inner pet because they're um the wheels and the frame is guaranteed for two years and they say it's not covered under warranty um it's it needs to have been maintained properly and um this is not a manufacturing fault now I've read all their maintenance guidelines and it's about keeping it you know, dry and cleaning it off after a walk, which I do, um, remove mud. It's kept in the dry, which I do. It has um, two dogs that weigh a combined weight of 22 kilograms. The weight for this is 25 kilograms. Um, it's stored appropriately. Now, this, it's not been used any differently to any of my other strollers. And yet this frame has buckled. How can that not be a manufacturing fault? Now, I may just be a doctor, but before I was a doctor, I actually had two degrees in engineering. And um, I don't think that this stroller is designed to stand up to what it is labeled to do, i.e. all terrain. If that has buckled after two, you know, less than two years, after a year of use, then how can that not be a manufacturing fault? It's not been subjected to rust or anything like that. It has just buckled and it's bending and it is now catching on that wheel. Now I've tightened the nut up there to see if that makes any difference, but it doesn't. It's actually the frame that's at fault and um, in a pet are just telling me that um, it's not a manufacturing fault. And I've asked them to clarify why, and they haven't responded to my email, they haven't responded to me on social media either. And I think that's actually very poor service from someone who's always been very complimentary about your product. Um, and this is my third in a pet stroller, and quite frankly, I'm absolutely disgusted that it's lasted me um, 12 months um, before this all happened. Um, and in a pet just are not interested. So, this I'm going to tag on to my original review about the, the comfort stroller um, because I actually don't think it's fit for purpose and it shouldn't be labelled as an all-terrain stroller. It's probably ideal for you if you've got a 10 kilogram dog and you just want to go for a little pootle around the park but if you actually want to use it uh, at all-terrain as um, it's sort of specified in the title then I would suggest looking for something else.